Hi there, this is Gretchen Willis, and I am going to talk to you a little bit today about how it is I go about getting rid of harsh shadows in Lightroom. I'm going to show you here, I started out with this picture of my son taking a bath in the sink, and there was sun coming in through the window right above the frame here, and it created this really bright shadow here, or bright light here, and then shadow here. And what I want to do is I want to try to blend that as much as I can. So the first thing that I decided to do was to convert this into black and white. So um, let's see, what I did was I saved that as a snapshot. So this is what it looked like once I converted it into black and white. And you can see there's still quite a bit um, of brightness right here. And then here's the shadowed part. I don't really mind the shadowed part, but the brightness is a little too much for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my adjustment brushes, which are right here. Okay. And I have a whole bunch of adjustment brushes saved, but, um, and I actually do have one for harsh shadows. Let's see, I think I have it down here, right there. And let me just show you what my harsh shadows is set at. So with the harsh shadows, what I want to do is I want to bring down the contrast, and I want to bring down the highlights, and I want to improve the shadows. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm telling the computer, look, I want to create less definition. Okay, clarity is almost like the opposite of that. Clarity creates more definition. And what I want to do is I want to do more blending. So um, let's see, I have my flow set at about 85%. And um, I can always adjust that if it tends to be not working out. And I have this set to auto mask, which means that if I start over here in the brighter part and I come over into the shadows area, it won't uh, also adjust over in the shadows area. I'm going to bring down the size of my brush here, and I'm going to go ahead and just start coloring and see what happens. Okay, it's not, like, perfect. It's okay. It's okay looking. And that's bringing back a lot of that. Oopsie, I moved it. Let me move it back there. Okay. So, and you can see that it's not really going into the hair part, but it's almost creating, like, a little line there, and we're going to fix that, too. Okay, so that got a little bit darker than I wanted there, so I'm going to click on Erase. And I'll just erase a tiny bit there because I don't want it quite that dark up, up top. There we go. Okay, so I'm done with that part now. Now, how am I going to deal with this adjustment thing here? Well, I'll tell you because I already tried it. I tried using the healing spot remover, and it just didn't really work very well. So I can show you how I tried to do it. There you go. And then, and then I set it to heal, but I'm not really sure where to set it. If I set it up there, it, just, it didn't really work as well as I wanted it to. So instead, what I tried to do is I tried to use a radial filter. It's this one right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to zoom in to this to show you this is the detail area that I'm going to put the radial filter on. Okay. And let's see, the radial filter, um, again, what I want to do is I want to try to blend this area here. So I have my contrast brought down and my highlights brought down and my shadows brought up. Another thing you could do to help with this is you can bring your clarity down, which would basically make it look like more creamy and less sharp, I guess you could do. Okay, so I want a long, narrow piece and I'm going to turn it to be right on that line. Don't worry what's going on right now with the other side of his head. You're probably like, oh, it's darker, but don't worry, I'll fix that. Okay, and the reason why is the way a radial filter works is it applies it to everything outside the circle. But what I want to do is I want it to apply it to what's inside the circle. So I'm going to click invert mask and that's where it's going to do it there. Now you're like, oh, it's too dark. I agree, it is too dark. So that's where we're going to adjust our sliders up here. Okay, um, brought the highlights down too much probably. So we'll bring that back up. Maybe like to 20. I'm going to bring this closer up to that line there. Maybe bring the contrast down more, bring the clarity down a lot more. And see, when I pulled that clarity down, you can see how that really helped blend it a lot more. You can also bring the sharpness down. That would also help blend it. Look at that. It was like a little too much. So you just get where you want it to be. And see, this is just one small part of the picture. So really, it's going to, not going to be super, super noticeable. But it helps blend that. So now let's pull back out. And it looks a lot better. I mean, it's not a perfect job, but it looks a lot better. Then here, let me go back to show you what it looked like before. That's what it looked like before. Okay, and this is what it looks like now. 
So there's a big improvement there. And then what I ended up doing with mine was I fixed the orientation there. It was a little, the crop was a little bit goofy and stuff. So I fixed it. And that's what my final one looked like when I edited it before. So, so that's how I do it. And I hope that helps a little bit. Maybe, um, help you with your Lightroom editing just to show you that Lightroom is a really powerful tool. You can do a lot more than just convert raw images. You can, uh, make some really fantastic images. So, okay. Thanks.